good morning i am devi sena in this lecture we are going to discuss about force voltage force current analogy solved problems in translational mechanical systems part 1 this topic is present in the subject control systems for the mechanical system shown in figure below write the differential equations also draw the force voltage and the force current electrical analogous circuit this is the given mechanical translational system for this system we are going to write the differential equations after writing the differential equations we are going to draw the force voltage and the force current electrical analogous systems for the given mechanical translational system in this problem we have three masses so we have to write three differential equations related to masses m1 m2 and m3 respectively force f of t is applied on mass m1 due to that it experiences a displacement x1 of t this is indicated in this diagram three body diagram for mass m1 if all the opposing forces and applied forces acting on mass are marked separately then it is named as free body diagram for the mass m1 the free body diagram is shown below this is the representation of the free body diagram for the mass m1 the applied force f of t is acting on the mass m1 due to that applied force the mass experiences its own force f of x m1 and to the mass m1 the springs k1 and k2 is connected similarly the dash part b1 and b2 is connected so they experiences their own opposing forces it is indicated in this diagram by de lambert's principle sum of applied force is equal to sum of opposing force f of t is equal to f of x m1 plus f of x b1 plus f of x k1 plus f of x k2 plus f of x b2 here we have considered the mass m1 for the mass m1 the applied force is f of t because of the applied force the mass m1 experiences its own opposing force f of x b m1 and for the mass m1 springs k1 and k2 are connected so they experiences their own forces it is f of x k1 and f of x k2 similarly the dash part b1 and b2 is connected to mass m1 they also experiences their own forces f of x b1 and f of x b2 so if you substitute the values of these forces means we get f of t is equal to m1 d u1 of t by dt because the mass experiences the acceleration the acceleration is represented in terms of the rate of change of velocity d u of t by dt and the dash part experiences velocity so b1 u1 here dash part b1 is connected between mass m1 and fixed end so b1 u1 plus 1 by k1 into integral of u1 dt here the spring k1 is connected to mass m1 and fixed end plus b2 into u2 u1 minus u2 because the dash part b2 is connected between mass m1 and m2 here we are writing the equation for the mass m1 so we have b2 into u1 minus u2 plus 1 by k2 into integral of u1 minus u2 dt because the spring k2 is connected between mass m1 and m2 we are writing the equation for 
mass m1 that is by 1 by k2 into integral of u1 minus u2 dt consider this is equation 1 this is the force balance equation for the mass m1 free body diagram for the mass m2 is indicated here for the mass m2 the opposing forces are f sub x k2, f sub x m2, f sub x b2 and f sub x k3. By D Lambert's principle, sum of applied force is equal to sum of opposing force. For the mass m2, there is no applied force. So, the applied force value is 0. But the opposing forces are f sub x k2, f sub x m2, f sub x b2 f and f sub x k3. Therefore, 0 is equal to f sub x m2 plus f sub x b2 plus f sub x k2 plus f sub x k3. If you substitute the values of the above forces means we get 0 is equal to m2 du2 by dt because the mass experiences acceleration the acceleration is represented in terms of the velocity that is du2 of t by dt and plus b2 u2 minus u1 the dashpot experiences the velocity here we have written the equation for the mass m2 the dashpot b2 is connected between m2 and m1 so u2 b2 into u2 minus u1 plus 1 by k2 into integral of u2 minus u1 dt that is the spring k2 is connected between mass m1 and m2 we are writing the equation for mass m2 so u2 minus u1 plus 1 by k3 into integral of u2 minus u3 dt because the spring k3 is connected between mass m2 and m3 we are writing the equation for mass m2 that is why u2 minus u3 consider this as equation 2 that is the force balance equation for the mass m2 free body diagram for the mass m3 this is the free body diagram for the mass m3 for the mass m3 there is no applied force and the mass m3 experiences its own opposing force that is f sub x m3 for the mass m3 the spring k3 is connected it experiences its own opposing force f sub x k3 by d lambert's principle sum of applied force is equal to sum of opposing force here 0 is equal to f sub x m3 plus f sub x k3 because there is no applied force for the mass m3 and if you substitute the values of f sub x m3 and f sub x k3 means we get 0 is equal to m3 du3 by dt plus 1 by k3 into integral of u3 minus u2 into dt here the spring k3 is connected between mass m3 and m2 we are writing the equation for mass m3 so we are considering u3 minus u2 consider this as equation 3 that is the force balance equation for the mass m3 force voltage analogy that is loop analysis or mesh analysis in electrical system we are considering here force in translational mechanical system is analogous to voltage in electrical system velocity in translational mechanical system is analogous to current in electrical system mass in translational mechanical system is analogous to inductance in electrical system dashpot or damper in translational mechanical system is analogous to resistance in electrical system spring in translational mechanical system is analogous to capacitance in electrical systems 
Voltage Voltage and Energy Diagram for the Problem 1. And this is the given mechanical translational system. This system is analogous to the electrical system representation of the given mechanical translational system. Here we are having masses, spring and dashboards. The masses, spring and dashboards are replaced by the corresponding elements in the electrical system that is indicated in this diagram. Voltage electrical analogous equations for the problem 1. For the force balance equation for equation 1, the force voltage electrical analogous equation is represented here. V of t is equal to L1 di1 of t by dt. Here the mass m1 is analogous to the inductance L1 and plus R1 i1 plus 1 by C1 into integral of i1 dt plus R2 into i1 minus i2 plus 1 by C2 into integral of i1 minus i2 dt. This is the force voltage analogous equation for the corresponding force balance equation of equation 1. The next force voltage analogous equation for the equation 2 is 0 is equal to L2 di2 by dt plus R2 into i2 minus i1 plus 1 by C2 into integral of i2 minus i1 dt plus 1 by C3 into integral of i2 minus i3 dt. This is the force voltage analogous equation for the force balance equation for equation 1. Consider this as equation 5. The force voltage analogous equation for the force balance equation of equation 3 is 0 is equal to L3 di3 by dt plus 1 by C3 into integral of I3 minus I2 dt. This is equation 6. That is the equation 6 is the force voltage analogous electrical equation for the force balance equation force current analogy force in translational mechanical system is analogous to current in electrical system here we have discussed the nodal analysis circuit in electrical system is considered velocity in translational mechanical system is analogous to voltage in electrical system mass in translational mechanical system is analogous to capacitance in electrical system Dashboard or damper in translational mechanical system is analogous to conductance, that is the reciprocal of resistance in electrical system. Spring in translational mechanical system is analogous to inductance in electrical system. Force current analogy diagram for the problem 1. This is the representation of a mechanical translational system. The corresponding analogous electrical representation that is the nodal analysis diagram for the given mechanical system is shown here. And this is the analogous diagram for the given mechanical translational system in terms of the nodal analysis in electrical system. Force current electrical analogous equations for the problem 1. The equation 1 in the mechanical translational system is represented in terms of the analogous current equation with the help of the nodal analysis diagram. The current I of t is equal to C1 dV1 of t by dt plus G1 V1 plus 1 by L1 into integral of V1 dt plus G2 into V1 minus V2 plus 1 by L2 into integral of V1 minus V2 dt. 
This is the equation 7. This equation 7 is analogous to the force balance equation of equation 1 in the mechanical translational system. 0 is equal to C2 dV2 by dt plus G2 into V2 minus V1 plus 1 by L2 into integral of V2 minus V1 dt plus 1 by L3 into integral of V2 minus V3 dt. This is the equation 8. This equation 8 is analogous to the force balance equation 2 in the mechanical translational system. Now, 0 is equal to C3 dV3 by dt plus 1 by L3 into integral of V3 minus V2 dt. This is equation 9. Equation 9 is analogous to the force balance equation 3 in mechanical translational system. Force voltage, force current analogy, solve the problems. Problem 2. For the mechanical system shown in figure below, write the differential equations. Also, draw the force voltage and force current electrical analogous circuit. Here is a representation of a mechanical translational system. In this mechanical translational system, we are having two masses, masses M1 and mass M2. The force F of T is applied to the mass M2. Because of the applied force, the mass M2 experiences a displacement X2. The mass M2 is having at dash part B2. Similarly, mass M1 is having a dash part B1. Between the mass M1 and M2, dash part B3 and spring K2 is connected. One end of the spring K1 is connected to fixed end and the other end is connected to mass M1. This is represented here. In this given problem, we have two masses. So, we have to write two differential equations related to the masses M1 and M2 respectively. Force F of T is applied to mass M2. Due to that, it experiences a displacement X2 of T. Free body diagram for the mass M1. If all the opposing forces and applied forces acting on mass are marked separately, then it is named as a free body diagram. For the mass M1, the free body diagram is shown below. Here is a representation of the free body diagram for the mass M1. Mass M1 is having its own opposing force F suffix M1. For the mass M1, the dash part B1 is connected. So, the dash part B1 experiences its opposing force F suffix B1. For the mass M1, spring K1 is connected. The spring experiences its own opposing force F suffix K1. And the dash part B3's one end is connected to mass M1. It is having an opposing force F suffix B3. Similarly, the spring K2's one end is connected to mass M1. It is having its own opposing force F suffix K2. These masses are indicated in this diagram. By D. Lambert's principle, sum of applied force is equal to sum of opposing force. For the mass M1, we are not having any applied force, so its value is 0. And the opposing forces for the mass M1 are F suffix M1, F suffix B1, F suffix K1, F suffix K2 and F suffix B3. If you substitute these values of opposing forces in the above equations means we get 0 is equal to m1 du1 of t by dt because we have represented the mass in terms of the acceleration that is the rate of change of velocity plus b1 u1 
plus 1 by k1 into integral of u1 dt plus b3 into u1 minus u2 plus 1 by k2 into integral of u1 minus u2 dt. Consider this as equation 1. Equation 1 represents the force balance equation for the given problem 2. The body diagram for the mass M2 is indicated here. In this diagram, the applied force is F of T. It is indicated here. Because of the applied force, the mass experiences its own opposing force F suffix M2. It is indicated in this diagram. Then the spring K2 experiences its own opposing force F suffix K2. Dash part B2 and B3 experiences its own opposing force F suffix B2 and F suffix B3. By D. Lambert's principle, sum of applied force is equal to sum of opposing force. That is, F of T is equal to F suffix M2 plus F suffix B2 plus F suffix K2 plus F suffix B3. If you substitute the values of the opposing forces means we get F of T is equal to M2 D U2 by DT plus B2 U2 plus 1 by K2 into integral of U2 minus U1 DT because the spring K2 is connected between the mass M1 and M2. Similarly, B3 plus B3 into U2 minus U1 because the dash part B3 is connected between mass M1 and mass M2. Consider this as equation 2. Equation 2 represents the force balance equation for the given mechanical translational system. Force voltage analogy that is loop analysis or mesh analysis in electrical system we are considering here. Force in translational mechanical system is analogous to voltage in electrical system. Velocity in translational mechanical system is analogous to current in electrical system. Mass in translational mechanical system is analogous to inductance in electrical system. Dashboard or damper in translational mechanical system is analogous to resistance in electrical system. Spring in translational mechanical system is analogous to capacitance in electrical systems. Force voltage analogy diagram for the problem 2. This is the given mechanical translational system. For this mechanical translational system, the corresponding voltage analogy diagram in the mesh analysis of electrical system is represented here. Here, in this mechanical translational system, we are having two masses, masses M1 and M2. So, this is analogous to um, two loops in the mesh analysis diagram. It is indicated in the diagram. Force voltage electrical analogous equations for the problem 2. The equation 3 represents the electrical analogous equation for the force balance equation of equation 1 that is 0 is equal to L1 d I1 of t by dt plus R1 I1 plus 1 by C1 into integral of I1 dt plus R3 into I1 minus I2 plus 1 by C2 into integral of I1 minus I2 dt this is the equation 3 equation 3 is analogous to the force balance equation of the mechanical translational system equation 1 and v of t is equal to l2 di2 by dt plus r2 i2 plus 1 by c2 into integral of i2 minus i1 dt plus r3 into i2 minus i1 this is the equation 4 that is the equation 4 represents the electrical analogous equation for the force balance equation 2 for the mechanical translational system
force current analogy force in translation in mechanical system is analogous to current in electrical system here we have discussed the nodal analysis circuit in electrical system is considered velocity in translation in mechanical system is analogous to voltage in electrical system mass in translation in mechanical system is analogous to capacitance in electrical system dashpot or damper in translation in mechanical system is analogous to conductance that is the reciprocal of resistance in electrical system spring in translational mechanical system is analogous to inductance in electrical system whose current analogy diagram for the problem 2 this is the given mechanical translational system problem 2 for this problem the analogous current analogy diagram in the electrical system that is a nodal representation of an electrical system is shown here here we are having two masses in the mechanical translational system so in this electrical analogous system the masses are analogous to the voltages so we have two nodes nodes v1 and v2 represented here Whose current electrical analogous equations for problem two? Zero is equal to C one d v one of t by d t plus G one v one plus one by L one into integral of v one d t plus G three into v one minus v two plus one by L two into integral of v one minus v two d t. Consider this is equation five. Equation five is analogous to the force balance equation of equation 1 in mechanical translational system and i of t is equal to c2 into d v2 of t by dt plus g2 v2 plus 1 by l2 into integral of v2 minus v1 dt plus g3 into v1 minus v2 v2 minus v1 This is equation six. Equation six is analogous to the force balance equation two of the mechanical translational system. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture, means kindly share this video to your friends and kindly subscribe this channel.